In the world of electric vehicles, a name that might not ring many bells outside of China has quietly taken the lead, leaving even the well-known Tesla behind. This underdog is none other than BYD, and it's now recognized as the globe's top seller of electric car. You might not have heard of BYD, but chances are you've been on one of their buses or spotted their taxis cruising through major cities. Our vertical integration capability gives us the flexibility in the fast response to the market change, as well as the better support for brand developing and customer service. However, the real reason behind BYD's triumph over Tesla lies in a blend of clever planning by BYD itself and strong backing from the Chinese government. Together, they've positioned China to dominate the future of transportation, a domain projected to be worth a whopping $8.8 trillion by the decade's end. In this video, we'll delve into the three key factors that have propelled BYD to the throne of electric vehicles, showcasing a remarkable journey from an unfamiliar brand to a global frontrunner in the automotive industry. If that sounds interesting, stick with us until the end and let's get started. Role of Chinese Government in BYD's Rise BYD's rise to the top isn't just a one-man show. It's got a strong supporting actor, the Chinese government. Picture this, a level of support for automakers that we've rarely seen before, especially when it comes to electric vehicles, EVs. China's government has played a crucial role in BYD's ascent, showering it with around $30 billion in tax exemptions since 2010 with a potential extra $97 billion by 2027. That's not chum change. China's approach is a bit like a carrot and stick dance. On one hand, they set rules, making it mandatory for automakers to produce a certain number of EVs. On the other hand, they offer sweeter deals, cheaper loans, land, and research subsidies. For all those who jump on the electric bandwagon, BYD has been dancing right along, benefiting big time from these incentives. Price Advantage Over Tesla Sure, Tesla also enjoys some Chinese subsidies, but here's where BYD steps ahead. Most of their cars are just plain cheaper. It's not just about government support. It's also about price tags that won't burn a hole in your pocket. While Tesla might be turning heads with its sleek cars, BYD is quietly winning the affordability game. You see, BYD's strategy is to keep things on the inexpensive side. Most of their cars are just more budget-friendly compared to Tesla's offerings. Tesla might be starting with the flashy high-end rides, but BYD took a different route. They began with cheap taxis and buses, which needed a bunch of batteries. By doing that, they drove down the prices of batteries, making it more doable for regular folks to hop on the electric wagon. Take a look at the numbers. Tesla's average car sells for around $45,000. Now, BYD's average is roughly half that. That's like getting two BYDs for the price of one Tesla. You might wonder, how on earth are they selling them so cheaply? The secret sauce is what they call vertical integration. Fancy words aside, it means they make a bunch of stuff that goes into their cars all by themselves. Other car companies usually buy most of their parts from suppliers. For instance, Volkswagen only makes 35% of the parts in their ID3 electric car. Tesla does a bit better, making 68% of the parts in the Model 3. Now BYD outshines them all, making a whopping 75% of the parts for their flagship model, the SEAL. But here's the real kicker. BYD is the only automaker producing all its batteries in-house. During the pandemic, when supply chains were a mess, BYD's control over their own destiny gave them a big leg up. They've been in the battery business since the 90s, and that experience pays off. So while Tesla might have the glitz, BYD's got the goods at a price that won't break the bank. It's a different kind of electric revolution, one that's friendly both to your wallet and the planet. BYD vs. Tesla Let's take a look at the overall strengths and technical aspects of Tesla and BYD. While Tesla focuses on high-end technologically advanced cars, BYD's strength lies in manufacturing technology and battery production. In the technical comparison between BYD and Tesla, the spotlight is on Tesla's Powerwall product. Tesla envisions a growth rate of around 100,000 units annually and is actively expanding production capacity while preparing to unveil a third-generation home battery pack. The new Powerwall 3 has been submitted for certification, 
focusing on upgrades in ease of installation, aesthetics, and power, aligning with Tesla's solar products. Powerwall serves as a versatile solution for storing electricity generated by solar panels or during off-peak hours with a capacity of 13.5 kilowatts per hour for home use or electric vehicle charging, allowing parallel installation for increased storage. Tesla is exploring the possibility of achieving two-way charging within the next two years. Although the company emphasizes the efficiency-driven approach to bi-directional charging, on the BYD front, as a leading solar product manufacturer, deeply engaged in the photovoltaic industry, the company introduces the new monocrystalline 158 module with a remarkable maximum cell efficiency of 22.4%. BYD employs innovative technologies like half-chip and reflective technology, resulting in increased module power up to 445 watts and impressive module conversion efficiency of 20.6%. Noteworthy benefits include reduced electricity costs, low power attenuation rates, and long-term sustainability. While BYD's solar technology has evolved, the company strategically follows Tesla's lead in the development of off-grid solar batteries, entering the Australian energy storage market with a focus on strategic growth. Global Electric Vehicle Sales in 2023 Alright, let's zoom out a bit and look at the bigger picture of electric cars around the globe in 2023. The numbers tell us that electric vehicles EVs, made up a solid 18% of all car sales worldwide during that time. Now when it comes to the best sellers, Tesla's Model Y takes the crown. It's the big shot with over 700,000 units flying off the shelves between January and August. Double checking the numbers, the second best seller was also a Tesla, the Model 3. But here's where things get interesting again. The third and fourth spots in the global sales? Those belong to the Chinese manufacturer BYD. So, while Tesla is still the big boss in the electric car game, BYD is cruising right behind. Even looking at the top 10, it's clear that Chinese models are making their mark. Hold tight, because here comes a surprise twist at the end of 2023. In the fourth quarter, BYD, the Chinese automaker, did something nobody saw coming they delivered a whopping 526,000 fully electric vehicles. That's more than what Tesla managed in the same time frame, 48,457 cars to be exact. It's not a huge difference, but it's enough for BYD to take the lead in that specific quarter. So what's the story here? How did BYD manage to edge out Tesla in those final moments of 2023? It's the result of a long-term game plan. BYD invested time and effort into building a lineup of competitive products at good prices. Now they're cashing in on a strong demand in their home turf. Thanks to over a decade of support from the Chinese government, technological edge, and investors. So BYD is not just making cars, they're making them smart, and they've got some big name backers cheering them on. First off, there's this battery tech, lithium iron phosphate. It's not only cheaper than other batteries, but it's also packed tighter. It's like having a smaller, more efficient backpack for your gadgets. Now let's talk about investors. They're not just any investors. We're talking about Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. Warren Buffett was early, investing through his company, Berkshire Hathaway. Questions, actually several of them, but I want to bring two up right now about BYDs. Carl mm -hmm. mentioned this in his uh, introduction to that question. Ray from Westminster, Maryland writes in. He says, everyone seems to be aware of your investment in BYD. That's the Chinese electric car company. I, in, the, in the end, what I hope is the world gets a great answer on it very quickly. And, and, mm -hmm. and if, it says, if it says made in Japan, made in China, made in the United States, the important thing for humanity is that we get great battery technology now. Berkshire originally purchased its BYD stake in 2008 for just $232 million. In late 2021, Berkshire owned about 21% of BYD, according to Hong Kong regulatory findings, which was worth more than $7 billion at its peak in 2022. Bill Gates hopped on the BYD bandwagon after a spin in one of their cars in Beijing. Imagine that! Billionaires giving BYD a thumbs up! So what's the deal with BYD's batteries and these big investors? While the batteries give BYD a technological edge, making their cars more efficient and cost-effective. And when you've got billionaires backing you, it's a strong support. They're not just building cars, they're building a reputation. Global Expansion Strategy So BYD is ready to hit the global stage. They've conquered China, 
And now they're eyeing a spot on the world map with a plan that involves more than just building cars. In 2021, BYD kicked things up a notch and set out on a journey to expand beyond its home turf. They're launching more passenger vehicles in places like the Middle East, Southeast Asia, and even Europe. But here's the twist. BYD isn't just sticking to electric vehicle-friendly markets. They're entering places where they're not exactly a household name. Sure, they've made strides. In just three years, they've become a top-selling electric vehicle brand in countries like Thailand, Brazil, and Australia. In July 2023, they decided to put $620 million into a big industrial center in Brazil. They're also building a factory in Thailand. This factory expected to finish next year will be able to make 150,000 cars annually. In May, BYD signed a basic agreement with the Indonesian government to make electric cars in Southeast Asia. BYD is making progress in Central Asia by planning to create a factory in Uzbekistan. The joint venture, starting in December 2022, will do everything from welding and painting to putting the cars together. The cars will also be sold in other Central Asian countries. BYD began sending cars to Uzbekistan in March and wants to deliver more than 5,000 cars this year through sales and service centers. These moves show BYD's efforts to become a bigger player in the global electric car market. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. BYD is facing a couple of challenges as they make their global debut. First up, there's the whole regulatory uncertainty thing. Then there's the issue of brand awareness. In some parts of the world, BYD is still very unknown. People haven't really heard about that. To tackle these challenges, BYD is considering a solution. Localization. They're thinking about building cars right there in the places they want to sell them. But here's the hiccup. BYD hasn't made its way to the US. Why, you ask? Well, blame it on the trade tensions between China and the US. While other car giants like GM and Toyota were expected to catch up with Tesla in the US, BYD is watching from the sidelines. For years, experts predicted that the big players would outshine Tesla. But guess what? BYD, the unexpected contender, got there first. Now the question is, when will BYD join the race in the US? Only time will tell, but they definitely have many things planned beyond the borders of China. As BYD charts its course for the future, they're not just looking at electric vehicles, they're eyeing a spot among the big shots in the car world. Will they do it? It's a tale of challenges, uncertainties, and global ambitions. And there you have it, the BYD story, a journey from an underdog in the electric vehicle world to a global player eyeing a seat at the big shot table. It's not your typical tale, but that's what makes it intriguing. Will they overcome regulatory hurdles, win hearts in new markets, and make a mark in the US? Only time will tell, and we'll be here to keep you updated on all things business and tech. If you enjoyed this journey through the twists and turns of BYD's rocks, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting stories in the world of business and technology. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you in the next video.